starting. All attendees are in listen only mode. Hello guys, this is Natasha. In today's session, I'll be talking about big data and Hadoop. And I guess everything is doing well. So welcome to the world of big data and Hadoop. So following the agenda, I'll be explaining you what is big data, different kinds of big data, big data global market, Hadoop global job trends, and what is Hadoop. So now, what is big data? Big data is the term for a collection of data sets which is very large and complex that it becomes very difficult to process using on-hand database management tools like RDBMS or DBMS or SQL files or traditional data processing applications. As you can see in the graph how data grows from 0 to 80 percent by 2014. Apart from that we are having another figure which shows the size of data in MBs, GBs and terabytes which everybody of us are very much familiar. But the size of data is all in petabytes, exabytes and databytes which is a huge huge amount of data which we all which we all be falling under the category of big data that exactly the term big data is. Now we have types of big data first structured, second unstructured and third most that is semi-structured data. Structured data are of types stored in tables in the form of rows and columns as you can see in figure. Unstructured data which are in the form of PDF files, audio files, video files and whatever the data generated by these social networking sites. Finally, in semi-structured data, this is of the form of XML files that have a parent node and trial nodes inside them. They are called semi-structured because they are organized in a manner but not so organized that they can be stored in databases. Now we have three Vs of big data which is the main characteristics of big data that is volume, variety and velocity. First of all I'll talk about volume. In volume earlier data was only generated by the employer of an organization but these days data comes from employees, partners and customers as well that is volume like 12 dBs of tweets created each day. Now for variety, primarily data was only of the type of Excel files or any databases. But nowadays is of the form of pure text form, photos, audios, videos, web pages, GPS data, sensor data, documents, SMS, etc. etc. That's the variety of data as I've already mentioned types such as sensor data, audio, video, click streams, log files and there are many more. In velocity, data processing initially was not real-time and it was acceptable because we did not require real-time analysis. But these days, if the processing is not done in real-time and the data generated is rendered almost useless, hence, in the, hence it is the need for velocity too. Like 5 millions of trade events created each day, that is the real-time data. Now we'll talk about sources of data. This comes mainly from social media networks, mobile devices, sensor and technology networks, scientific instruments. First, data from social media and networks is of the form of the following types likes, comments, photos, check-ins, uploads, pages, groups, etc. etc. These are the form of data which uh, comes under social media and networks. Mobile devices have come a long way from being just calling and messaging devices which is now up to date that is to super devices today which can track each and every movement of the user and this tracking generates a lot of data. Third, sensor technology and networks. These devices work real-time that is data 
which is collected and analyzed at the same time. And hence, this field also generates a large amount of data. So, that is for scientific instruments. Imagine a satellite that is supposed to revolve around the Earth and collect images for a year. And if it does this in intervals of one minute, then imagine the amount of data it generates. Not only that, we all so need to store and analyze that data will enhance need for a technology that can deal with data too. That's all about the sources of data. So now, where big data is used. In this section, we'll be dealing with some of the examples. First, that is for Amazon recommending products. For example, now, if a user buys phone from Amazon, it starts suggesting related items like screen guards, flip covers, bench covers, benchmarks, like etc. etc. These are like product recommendations to the particular or any of the individual customer or any of the users. Second, that is for Google AdWords. Data about the ad clicks of the customers can be part of the use to post relevant add-ons on the websites such that the profits are increased. That's all about improving the marketing effectiveness of a promotion while it's still in play. Apart from that, one of the examples, it's like New York City. In this section, we'll be, uh, I'll be talking about like collecting and mining big data has enabled the government to detect the crimes and frauds taking place in various departments which was not possible prior to the use of big data. That's all about preventing fraud and it is occurring and preventing more proactively. That helps a lot to the user or any of the departments. And finally, the fourth one, that is for the people uh, use mobile portability. Let's take an example. Uh, two telecom operators, X and Y, if 10 customers from X decide to shift to Y, then X can run a feedback mechanism so that they can implement the shortcomings in the networks and they don't lose any more customers. So these are the various examples which are shown in the slide where the big data is used. Next, that is the Facebook scenario. It's the live example. As you can see, the 1 billion active users are there. And on an average, it generates 70,000 of MB of data in one minute. And in one hour, it generates 4.2 million megabytes of data. And finally, in one week, it generates 690 terabytes, followed by in four weeks, 2.7 petabytes. And in 52 weeks, it generates 143.3 petabytes. Don't you think it's a huge, huge amount of data? And that's a lot of data. That's all deals with big data. So moving ahead with it. We'll be talking about in the slide that is various big data technologies. Under these, there are three sections. The bottom, it's for technologies like Hadoop, Hadoop MapReduce, Mayon, Apache Edge Base, Cassandra. These are the various technologies which deals with big data finally to give the user or any of the organization to the exact information about the things, about whatever the data they require. And for that, one need to move from the infrastructure. One need to uh, go over, follow the procedure of the infrastructure. That is the second most level, which comes under, analyti well, under which analytics, operational as a service, and structured database are there, under which uh, Oracle, SQL Server, C-based Terra data, MySQL are followed under structured database which play as an infrastructure to the applications for the users. And finally the first level that is for the apps that is the applications like vertical ad media, business intelligence under which Oracle, SAP, IBM, Cognos, these are the various firms which deals with this application help and the development of these applications to by the infrastructure, they use this technology with the help of that technology. Finally, they are getting the processed and the firmed data for their requirement or for their product as well as for the services. Apart from that, analytics and visualization data as a service, which 
all deals with the applications for the users. So these are the big data technologies which are shown in the slide. So moving ahead, the big data global market, that's you can see the big data implementation. 10% from the Fortune, 500 Fortune companies like the implementation of data is there and rest 90% implementation of big data is yet to be. Not full fit. it's not like uh, not an implement these big data. Apart from that, coming to the bar graph that is the growth of big data in US billion dollars as you can see in 2014 presently it's like 15 billion dollar growth over there for the big data like it's targeted to the by 2016 it will go up to 48 billion dollars that's what the bar graph uh, that's what the our bar graph says apart from that as you can see the various profiles which are working on that but the vacancy it's like a huge gap over there for the vacancy as you can see for data science it's like 18 person is filled rest 82 person is vacant followed by the big data architect and big data analysis it's like 50 50 ratio apart from that I'll be talking about Hadoop global job trends as you can see the various firms like Amazon Web Services, IBM, ZSZ, Hortonworks, these are all various firms which deals with Hadoop, the Hadoop technology. Apart from that, one of the graph shows that the number of employees in percentage, it's like more than 17,000 employees with Hadoop skills across these companies by 2020. That's all for today. Thank you and have a good day. Uh, I believe this session was uh, very much helpful to all of you to know more about big data and how to you need to subscribe to easylearning.guru. Thank you.